Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, it, or is it going to be a happy Tuesday? Battle Royale. It's going to get messed up in here. It'll be a happy Tuesday for me. You're going down. <laughs> See how it is. Well then, <laughs> we better get started. <laughs> So I'm going down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I think I'm at a slight disadvantage because you're the artist. Oh, you're an artist? Are you? Oh, the, well, you're the painter. Out of the two of us, who has a master's degree <laughs> in art-related things? Well, I mean, but you've, every day, you paint and... You're right. You know what? You know what? You know what? You're right. I am pretty amazing. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Picking up what I'm laying down, huh? <laughs> I, actually, actually oh, tonight, tonight um, this is going to be so much fun. Um, we're doing a, um, a battle royale, um, and we're going to do this every week, but there's actual consequences because as much as Jackie and I are fa fans of shows like the Great British Bake Off, where they compete every week, and at the end of it, they just get like a, um, a cake plate or something. Which is really cool. Yeah, there needs to shows. be there needs to be some some sort of like punishment. Yeah, you gotta pay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta kick, get kicked off the island. Something. Yeah. So so whoever so so tonight, what the challenge is, and we and, and neither of us has done this, but we're gonna do a wine painting. And and no, this doesn't mean that it just means you drink wine during the entire thing. Wait, what? I thought I mean, you can, but but, it, but that's not just it. If I drink all the wine, what are we gonna paint with? Oh, that's true. <laughs> no, I see a flaw in our plan. Wah, wah. Now, um, we're we're gonna use wine to actually paint with and do a painting, and that's the only thing we can use. Although Jackie has allowed me to use a medium to, to mix with it, so What's that I can fill the paint because <laughs> um, I, I I I do paint every day, but I do it in a very specific way so that I can touch and feel. So um, so this is gonna be interesting. I've never done this before. It could be a radical failure, and it, that's okay. You know, it's it's okay. Um, but um, but it, it's fun. I don't know. Like I, I love to try things that I've never done, and Jackie does too. And, yeah. And um, so th this will, this will be a lot of fun. Well, hey. Okay, let me ask you this really fast. Can right. you check the controls over there and make sure all the mics and everything is? Because it sounds like the sound is going in and out for me. Um, bring the mic closer to you. Is this better? I, yeah. I don't know. Everything looks. We we have one mic that's on, and everything else is muted, 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 <laughs> muted. Okay, muted, muted. Well, I, I okay. have a Bluetooth. I have I have um. Everything is being read to me. Maybe my maybe my uh, headphones are almost out of juice. I don't know. I don't know. But if, hey, guys. Um, if anybody, can anybody... Oh, okay. Just for, uh, Claire just. Uh, uh, wrote you both sound fine so thank you for letting us know oh thank you thank we you don't so know much what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> my my siblings siblings <laughs> check me check check uh, yes so well, we'll just spend our 30 minutes doing my uh, <laughs> sheila is with us says good evening thanks for tuning in and oh, randy ray's with us says howdy howdy randy man ken is with us and says howdy y'all hey, so ken. thanks everybody for joining um yeah we are going to, to june is the month of art battling oh yeah oh also july we're going to new york for a show yeah in the hold it i almost said, almost said new york in, in, new, in july we're going to new york in the for a show in new york so <laughs> in new york you know art. yeah july 17th we will be doing a show in central park in new york um you'll be doing a talk and everything and yeah you'll yeah. be painting live it'll be a, it, it's gonna be awesome yeah, and hot cool. One day, maybe I'll be, be a big enough artist where they let us in the buildings. Instead of just making us spin. <laughs> Stand outside. Yeah, you got to go to the Dance park, monkey. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be really cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And the reason that we're in the park and all is because um, this this month is, is is Gay Pride Month. And, and you know, and so salute to everyone out there, you know, the, um, the, the you know, wave the rainbow flag and everything. And, 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 and but to next month is Disability um, Pride Month. So yep. um, and every um, July they 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 do a big um, parade through through New York and through the Central Park and stuff. So so they're bringing us in to do a talk and to paint and just you know just hoopla hoopla. But I'm doing some paintings for um, New York and here let me here, let me show you this really quick. So this is a painting that I'm working on right now. It's here on my easel. 
Um, Which is totally weird because your easel is laying down. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we're gonna, the wine will drip everywhere. But. Yes, this easel is about to become a battleground. <laughs> Swear. <laughs> where, where I'll vanquish my enemies with wine. <laughs> At least, you know, the nice thing about having a wine battle is that, you know, if, 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 um, you can just get drunk afterwards yeah, whoever, and whoever not feel bad about can, things. Can, 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 um, ease their, their wounds, I guess, with the wine. I don't know. The wine. <laughs> anyway, um, this, so, so this painting isn't done, guys. This is something I'm working on. And I've got two others that are in the works too, um, but this—it's a New York cab. Hey, I'm walking here. That's that's my, that's my New York. <laughs> that's your I, I impression. Know everybody I'm from New York hates that. That's what everybody says. Hey, I'm walking here. Everybody, I don't know. I have never seen anybody in New York slam a like when when actually in New York. I've never seen anybody do that. Yeah, and I, I've heard that um, New Yorkers, <laughs> which you should know, your family you know is hails from that area. Hails um, from that area. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's like they hate it when people say that because everybody is like. You know, it's anyway. <laughs> they ain't walking in. And well, I'm not from there, so I I, I, I can say it now. I, I mean, you don't want to. You got to be careful. I mean, that's that's a given. Don't walk across the street. And yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Look in the background here. Um, is the Empire State Building. So I'm just I'm just putting all this in. Um, the other scenes that I'm doing is it's Brooklyn Bridge. Um, because it's very iconic, and I and I and I really like Brooklyn. Yeah, which is right behind you. You can kind of oh, see it on the, your the camera. Bridge. Like, well, like <laughs> well, it is, but it's a thousand miles away. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but it is kind of behind me, I guess. It's sort of. Yeah. Yeah. It's in some direction. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, you can see that? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, I mean, you got to move your head, but yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so I have the Brooklyn Bridge, and I really like Brooklyn. Every time we go to New York, it was in the past, it's been to work with the Met, and, um, and we've been in Manhattan. And then, and then when I did the mural, we went to Brooklyn, and that was awesome. It was yeah, so great. Brooklyn was fun. We were in a, in a neighborhood, and so it was just it was really cool to see another borough and you know expand my knowledge of stuff and things. Um, and the other one is a subway, um, which it has a um, an, um, it has a a guy that's walking, and he has a blues guitar on his back. You know, it's the kind with a shiny sort of metal, and so he's going to be getting on the subway. So I have that, and um, and I really like the subway. I mean, I have a love hate. The first time I ever got on a subway was in New York, and oh and um, it was when I first got my first guide dog, Echo, and yeah. I've had her for three months. And the thing is, you're not supposed to fly with a guide dog for a long time and travel like that, but they, they, they the guide dog school gave us a pass, and I went there. And, um, you know, and you're trying not to, you're trying not to act like a tourist or anything, you know? You're like, okay, I know what's going on. Yeah. And then, so so I'm standing in the, in the, in the subway, and they start. Those things don't like start like they they're, they're like either stop they jolt or they're going yeah <laughs> it's, it's like, like they're so in between it's like we're we're, we're not you know we're not going yeah we're going so I um I was in the middle and I took out the back half of the of the subway yeah car. everybody standing was then. yeah and, and and everybody was and that's and that's when one of the you know one of the um, <laughs> things you you always hear about New Yorkers being rude or mean everybody was so nice about it. And then they're like, um, oh, he's a tourist. And then though, I was standing back where I was, and it stopped. And I took out the other half of the, <laughs> everybody else that I hadn't knocked down before. I knocked them down. Everybody was still really friendly and, and all that about it. And of course, my guide dog was fine. Like the guy was still standing there, like yeah, Echo where are you was going? like, whatever, he's crazy. I'm, I have to be with him. But I but did, I, I did learn. I did the learn subway that. was a bit nuts though, taking Echo through because. <laughs> You can't, you're not really supposed to take them through those weird, I mean, you definitely don't take them down escalators, but, but even those rotating doors are super weird. And, you know, oh. in New York, the rotating doors have those like teeth. Yeah, those. yeah, 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 yeah. They won't, and, and, and apparently not every station has, a, has the disabilities. Sort of yeah. Thing. And that is like a pain. Yeah. Because, super big um, pain. and we didn't know that and we didn't know where to go. Cause you know, we're, I mean, you know, like our Google maps or whatever was telling us like, go here. And, um. So I would have to pick up e um, Echo, which Echo is a big dog. Yeah, she's a big dog, and I'd be and I would try to I would try to get get through those things <laughs> without the, the Swiss cheese cutter things trying to get us both. And everybody's looking at Echo's us like, we're like crazy. why are you and picking like, me up? You never do this. Yeah, yes. but <laughs> yeah. we did it. We did it. Well, Fred's with us. Says, um, "Hey guys, the sound is good to me. Thank you for letting us know." Um, Amy uh, is with us. Says, "Oh, I love that." Speaking of your painting. Nancy, oh, you, Nancy's joined us, says, hey, hey, uh, my mom's with us, says, hey, guys, love hey. you, love you. And Russell's with us and has, says, hey, y'all, Russell won the, the print last week. Yeah, month. man, well, um, hey, guys. And Gina's with us, says, hello, happy to be here, oh, cool cab. 
And uh, Steve is with us and says hello and good evening, everyone. So thanks for tuning in, guys. It's going to be a bit different tonight. We are battling with vino. Yeah. If I don't drink it all in the meantime. In fact, let me get that taxi cab out of the way so we can clear the battle. Oh, we're doing this now? No, no. Like right now? I'm not ready. Actually, this is, you know, we could could talk talk about this, though. Um, So we're doing a wine painting and you actually con- concentrated the wine okay do you, do yeah you wanna, do you want to talk talk about that yes I, I thought that was pretty cool <laughs> so um i'm not about to lose this people you so probably, I did, yeah so. <laughs> you, got, you got every chance of winning this and you should also show what what the um if you have it like the the wine I, the wine well the the penalty oh oh oh, oh it's uh, it's an obstacle okay i will okay so so the deal is all month john and i are going to be doing battles every week this week is we're going to both paint a picture with wine, um, and whoever loses has to wear a Bob Ross costume, which, oh my gosh, I'm going to fall off the back of this thing. Here. He lives with us. I mean, he's just living on a mannequin right now, but has to wear this with the whole get up and everything. <laughs> and... There's a get up. Well, I mean, you know, his jeans and blue shirt, and oh. and you know, we're gonna probably like tape a squirrel to you. I don't know. I don't know how to this me, is gonna go down. Oh gosh, I see how this is. Yeah, <laughs> you already, you already know who's gonna win this. Well, this, this, I think, I think this, this, this is rigged, guys. The Bob Ross costume was was my last Halloween costume when we were doing different costumes every week. So, you did it so well, my mom, my mom, my mom did didn't know it was you. It's yeah, like, she's like, who's this that guy here? in the photos? <laughs> But but she knew you were Superman, which was yeah. Oh yeah, I was um, I was a, I had the mustache. Yeah, you were you were Henry Cavell as Superman. Yeah, because he had the which CGI mustache. Hot, I must say. Um. Anyway, so whoever loses has to wear the full Bob Ross get up for our next challenge, and on the live show, which our next challenge we might we're probably gonna I think we're doing off screen because we're gonna go somewhere and do it. It's gonna yeah, be crazy. So so. Whoever loses this has got to dress up like Bob Ross for the next challenge, which is not here. Yeah. It's at another location, dress like Bob Ross the entire day <laughs> while everybody thinks oh, you're, you're gonna, nuts and you're crazy. You're going to dress like Bob Ross the whole day, not just for the footage? Well, oh, this will be good. <laughs> knowing how well we are in, in video and audio, it's going to be the whole day. It probably <laughs> will. You're right. You're doing. right. And I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. If I have to wear it, I've worn it once. I'm down. We're doing well, this. Anyway, well, you know, okay. I, I am too. You know what? For all who are about the art, we salute you, Bob yes. Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross. So, um, okay. So what, what, obviously you might, have, people out there, you might've seen this before. It's similar to painting like w- with watercolor. The problem with wine is that even though it stains things and it looks very red in your glass, it actually, when you put it on paper is um, very light, obviously. So, uh, in prepping for all of this, I watched a couple of videos. I posted one to the, to the damn art group. Um, if you guys aren't a part of that, that's where we, we post random like techniques and wacky videos on how to do art. Um, I should say I'm listening very intently on you Yeah. because I don't know any of this. <laughs> so this is really good. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> okay. So, um, I saw in the video that basically what you want to do is you want to take your wine and you want to boil it so that you can get as much as the water of the water out as possible. So it just leaves it this really like rich color. Um, what I did was I went to the store and I got a cheap bottle of wine. Um, this is what it looks like. Wow. This is this a concentrated that you did? Yes. Wow. It smells so strong, guys. Yeah. Have you have you tried it? Like, no, you- I'm not going to drink that. Are oh. you drinking it? Wow. Oh, God. Hold it. Whoa, hold, so it, hold it. Hold it. It's so. Is it good? It's not good. It is not good. But okay. It's very strong. Like it's. <laughs> wow. All right. So it's this. Know, this does... this bottle was like three bucks. It's actually a little bit smaller than a regular bottle because I knew I was going to cook it, so I didn't. And honestly, when I started cooking it, I was like, "Ooh, that that's." I mean, it didn't smell good. It's it actually reminded me a little bit like when my mom makes shrimp scampi, but. If the pot was forgotten, <laughs> you know, I know I, I walked in there 
and the whole house smelled like burnt wine. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And it, but it reminded me we we had a party once where where we had a tequila fountain. <laughs> don't ever don't do know. that, people. You know, don't you ever know, do that. You know, have you ever seen like those those the, the party fountains where you have punch and it goes like from one tier to the next tier to the next tier? We had one of those and we filled it with tequila. So uh, we thought, naturally. Oh, how nice. It'll be like a margarita thing. And we, you know, and you can get your tequila from that and you can make whatever kind of mar margarita you want. You know, it could be fruity, it could be this, it could be that. And uh, <laughs> wow, tequila is fragrant in a way that we did not realize. It's not a good fragrance. Everybody that walked in the door, they were like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. They're, but, you know, but ironically, the you know, we would try to get them a margarita really quick because once you had the margarita, you you'd couldn't taste. You'd couldn't forget about the smell. It, it was, it was funny because we were like, we were like, this is gonna be so cool. We was like, you know, whatever. And then as it started going, it was like, oh, the it, this is terrible. <laughs> it's already it's too terrible. late though. We've already put all the everywhere. <laughs> that was we did that for our my roller derby joint birthday party. I think that's what what we mm. did it for. And and of course that was like a bunch of roller derby people that I was just kind of befriending for the first time. And I'm like, come have it. So we'll have to throw a huge party, birthday party. <laughs> come smell tequila all night in my house. All your clothes will smell tequila. Oh, yeah. Evermore. <clears throat> Be careful driving home. So, um, okay. Let me say really fast. Um, Fred said, hilarious. Nancy says, hilarious. Mom says, thanks. Uh, Fred said, my buddy painted that uh, classic Audrey Hepburn portrait with red wine, but when he sprayed it with a sealant or protective stuff, the red changed colors to a crazy shade, almost fluorescent. Mm. Really weird. That sounds cool. That does Interesting. Sound cool. And my mom said, "Burnt wine, scampy." No. <laughs> no. Oh no. yeah, and I heard that Marilyn has been taking Tai Chi, so we need to stay on her good side because we don't want to get her all, you know, like the martial arts on us. <laughs> but that's that's really cool. I mean, man, that's awesome. That, that's so, that's okay so, so um all right are we doing this you Tiny look like you're gearing up over there well okay i'm yeah, nervous now i'm all of a sudden nervous i know i know i know it's it's, it's because it, it's because um the consequences are real <laughs> they are real so they are real uh, um so i'm not sure is mine is mine on the screen over yeah screen? okay cool 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 you so can move, you can scoot yours all a little bit forward there you go. Like that for Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so we have a little palette here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm putting this, this is a medium and this is what I'm hoping guys. So I have this medium. I mix it with my um, high flow black, uh, my carbon black um, paint and it makes it feel kind of slimy and almost like rubber cement. Um, I don't know how it reacts to wine. So, um, <laughs> so I have, I have two, two things in mind because I have to feel the paint to be able to, to, to work with it. So I have two strategies. One is that this works and then I'm able to draw with a little bit of a ridge. So I have an idea in my mind already of what I want to do. And it's very basic. Okay. Um, it's like a mountain scene with like mountains uh, that, that are receding in the distance. So, so I could do a lighter color mountain and then a, then a medium color mountain. And then a darker color with trees and stuff. So that maybe I can just, so if nothing else, at the very least, I can just do the shapes of the mountains and try to get the color in, and then that'll work. We'll see. Nancy says you're taking an advantage. <laughs> oh, she's on my side. No, I, I <laughs> no, I let him use Nancy. the medium so he could at least feel his way around the canvas. Yeah, um, Watercolor but, is not your bag. But also, I, I well, we could we can all use all this, and so um, True. yeah. But it may be an unfair advantage, but you know. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, Gina, just... Gina says, wish I could send an image. I have a portrait of myself done in wine, and I oh. love it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, that'd be cool. You know what? When um, you were doing Artiste, the winery, um, and doing their labels for them, uh, there was another artist there that did all her work in wine, mm. and it was gorgeous. It was yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, Artiste is a wine company we work with. Yeah. You know, you know, you could send it to their Facebook, and like, if you want to, you can send it to the damn group or the... Um, the dress our measures group or Facebook and yeah yeah if you want to share it and we'll make share sure. it on the on the feed if you can, um, that's awesome. Okay, so okay. I have the concentrated wine. So All right. I'm just gonna play around a little bit while we're okay. talking. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, I'm nervous. I don't ever do art on this. This is your shtick. Oh, you know what? Um, it's okay to fail. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I encourage I'm gonna you. get the John speech. All right. I encourage you to fail. I've heard this a lot. Right now. Okay, right now. 
you know, right now would be the time. If you're going to fail, right now would be the time. For right you. now would be the time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. So Come I'll on, show man. you guys. Like, I don't know if it comes up on camera because, but so what I did is I have an eat, I have a palette here. And so I had like these two things are just the regular wine, um, just straight out of the bottle. And this is the regular wine with a little bit of water. And then these two are the concentrate, like the one when I boiled it. So I watched a video and they were like, uh, the woman was said, I mean, she, she did a whole like demonstration of <laughs> this is everywhere. what it looks like after it dries and everything. And I think she said that Cabernet and some others, they dry a little purpley. They look pink, but they'll dry purpley. But there's other sort of grapes you can get that will do like pink or purple or something like that. Okay. okay. So do you, so you're doing a mountain scene, huh? Well, I'm, I'm pouring wine everywhere <laughs> right now. I got it. I got it. I don't know. <laughs> But I, I, I got, wow, it smells like wine in here. All right. Well, Gina says, I will post the picture. Kim said, oh, cool. Kim has joined us, says hello. And Barbara says, oh my gosh, I've been here almost all the time, but couldn't comment. <laughs> well, okay. I see your comment now. So, okay. I'm so going to win. All right. I'm mixing this medium in, and I really don't know if it's going to work. So, my my other thing is that, um, um, this is ridiculous. It's just kind of knowing where I'm starting, and, and I'm doing a very simple. Actually, I got the wrong. I mean, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm just going to do a simple kind of background. Yeah. And you haven't said what, what it is that, you, that, that you're painting. Okay. I'm Tomorrow is um, World Oceans Day. I'm hip to the um, every single day is something now. Um, so I'm going to do an ocean scene. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, and well. I th this brush I chose <laughs> is broken. <laughs> the metal piece completely comes off. Oh, the do you, do you do you want another? No, I think I can manage. I think I used this the other day when I was doing something. So I got this. I well, got this. I've, I've got a drawer full of brushes over here, sweetheart. Thank you. All right, I will. I will say here. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up a little. I will say that I in researching the videos, I did get some inspiration yeah. for watercolor yeah. paintings. Wow. So I'm trying to uh, mimic a little bit of something I saw. I, I don't I don't know how much this is going to help in the future because, but right now you can tell I can feel the difference. Really? Between the wet paper and the dry paper, but when I start painting wet on wet, that's not really going to be so good. Actually, here let me see. I'm going to put some water on here. And I'm going to take some of this because I mix this with the medium. Gosh, this is just <laughs> it's going everywhere. Well. I don't really know what's going on here. I, I mean, I okay, this is good. <laughs> this is good. I mean, I mean, this is totally going the way that I want it. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to do is just get a basic mountain shape. <laughs> so, if I could impart to you guys how strong the wine smell is, <laughs> is it that strong? I guess because I'm just like drinking it over here. Yeah, the really <laughs> it's, it it's around you. It's in you. <laughs> it's it's become part of you. <laughs> You know, but I will say this: it, this this is a lot of fun. I did, you know what? When I was watching the video, I did see the person. Um, they put water down before they actually um, put any color into it. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> thinking part of blending that. or something. I, uh, you know, I took watercolor like mm. in college. Your like depending on your degree, you take like either oil or watercolor, and I took watercolor, which I will say is like ridiculously hard but i thought it was pretty decent it's pretty mm -hmm. decent i'll take it i'm curious what what you're doing over there what you're doing well it's <laughs> it, <clears throat> i'll say it's an underwater ocean scene okay so I'm, I'm i'm going in and i'm adding another layer of wow this is okay if this doesn't work out i'm gonna try to draw a face and that's gonna be terrible so you know <laughs> um I heard I heard some neat, some neat things though um, today while I was painting. Yeah, listen to some some videos about like classic TV people. Yeah, and like Paul Lynn, he like he played on Uncle Arthur on Bewitched, and a bunch of other stuff. Like he was on the Hollywood Squares for like years, like a long time, and and then he was so much he was so much the star of the show, like he left for a year and, and the ratings plummeted. Really? Yeah, and they and they were like, we got to have you back, and they ended up pay, paying him more than the than the main guy in the show. 
that's funny. And then, you know, he was there for, you know, forever after that. And then, um, but he was so funny. Um, but I'm, Uncle, Uncle Arthur on the witch. But one, one thing that I thought was kind of neat is that when he was a kid or a young, young man, he, um, he wanted to be an actor and all this stuff going on in his, um, and his dad was like, no, he probably shouldn't, you know, that's not, you should, you should find a different kind of career or whatever. And then he was, you know, he was doing everything he could to, to become an actor, you know, like he, he actually, like in college, he was, um, it was part of the drama thing, you know, he, like, you know, he, he, you could tell that he was really driven by it. Yeah. And then his dad, he sat him down and said, um, you know, I can see this is really important to you. And so, um, your, your rent's paid and your, 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 your food's paid. I want to make sure that that's taken care of. Nice. Cause he wanted to move to New York and, and do that. And so he made it, he made it where it was able to do that. And I thought, how, Neat is that. And the other thing was like Paul Lynn, he was gay at the time, you know, and, and he never came out in his lifetime. But I don't know. I just thought it was really cool for like, especially a parent back in that era to have such a supportive take on, yeah, on everything, that's cool. you know, saying, you know, this is really important to you and you're important to me. So, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're going to make this happen. I thought, well, how cool is that? Um, well, this is just weird, guys. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, well, let me let me say really fast. Um, Nancy said, "Like a red ocean?" Question mark. And then um, she said, "Jack, Jackie, speed up! John's beating you, and she's already liking yours better." Not cool, man. And then um, oh, and Russell said, "I love Paul uh, Rind, Lind." Sorry. Oh yeah, man. Oh my my goodness. He, he, you know, it was just so neat, like. And there was things about him, like you know, he drank too much, you know, at times. But he he tried, he corrected it, tried to, and and did different things. And he, and he he died really young, like he was like 55, 53, something like that. Um, Carolyn Jones though is another. She she she's the lady that played Morticia, and I thought I thought her story was really interesting too because it's sort of the same thing. But she when she grew up, she had a lot of health problems. She had like a lot of asthma and, and different things going on. Um. And so, so she was inside a lot because back then, like when she, I think she was born like in, gosh, a lot. Don't get me lying now. I want to say it was like, you know, I'm not even sure. What I'm was her sure. health problems? Is it like polio or something? No, it was like asthma. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. they um, but they didn't have very good treatment and stuff back then. So she mostly just had to stay inside and stuff. So, but she, but her, her, um, her grandparents again. You know, her grandparents took her to the movies. Her, her, her sister to the movies every weekend. And then she, she saw like the actresses. She's like, you know, that's, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to be an actress. So she started like being in the drama club in school and stuff, but none of the people at the drama club really took it seriously. You know, she's like, come on guys, we gotta, we gotta get it together. She's, um, and they're like, yeah, whatever, this is fun. <laughs> and she's like, you know, where, where I have to be is, um, I think Pensacola, it was, it was, it was California somewhere. And she kept saying that, like, you know, for like two years, like you know, that's that's where the where the, where the, the series acting school and the series acting is going on. So her, her grandfather sat her down one day and said, um, "If that's what it takes, then that's what we're going to do." Hmm. And um, and he he in and they did not come from a rich family or anything, so it was, you know, it was not it was not an easy thing to do. But I just thought, how cool is that? I mean, like, because every every time every time in those stories, what what struck me. Was that like the parents would sit, would sit the child down? Yeah. They would say, "All right, you know, like here we go." And this is like this is the part where they crush their dreams. You know? <laughs> and, um, right. But no, it was it was it was the exact opposite. And I thought, man. All right, yeah. Russell says his Halloween special is iconic. Ooh. Okay. Oh, really? Yes, yes. I heard about that, but I haven't I haven't listened to it. I feel like. I didn't account for like drying time. I know, I know. I think maybe I'm gonna have to let this dry while I work on another one. What? That another one had twice one. as much chance. And let's face it, if I win, everybody wants to see you in a beard. I mean, like I already got a little weirdy beardy thing going on. <laughs> no, actually, um, I'm, I'm really curious what you're. I think I think Jackie's gonna knock this out of the park. I am curious though. Are you gonna have a dolphin no. wrestling uh, an octopus? Scuba divers. <gasps> Are you really? Yeah. You got scuba divers? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I've already lost this. 
Well, but I'm gonna I keep can't going. guarantee they'll be good scuba divers. They may just be blobs. You're really going to do glue scuba divers? I was, was going to try. That's but I, awesome. I got to get the paper dry. Man, I didn't well, account for this. You know what? That's I was going to do trees. Well, like, I, I want to do trees. a bunch of evergreen evergreen trees. That was really the main thing for doing all this. So I could do evergreen trees. But this 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 <laughs> paint is so watery that I don't know that I can actually do a tree on here. Well, I'm desperately trying to get mine dry because in order to create the effect I want, it needs to be dry. Um, I don't. I, I you know you can um, work under these these conditions. Yeah. These conditions are. Intolerant. I'm gonna let mine dry. I need a bigger brush because this is taking forever. Okay. <laughs> Yours looks really good. Oh, thanks. Mine is like a, a perfect rectangular the rectangle oh, with like a gradient of dark up to like the center top of white. Ooh, that sounds nice. So it's like it's gonna be like you're in the ocean staring up at the surface. Well, that sounds really pretty. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see okay this is crazy guys and and, and really like the red throws me off a tiny bit <laughs> yeah i mean this this is harder than i thought it would be because i was i was thinking like i paint a lot in gray scale like great you know using tones of gray mm -hmm. so i think oh well, you know this this is like that this is it's not this is a little different to be honest it's a little different Oh, can, uh, it's Kim, so watery. I'm it is sorry. very watery. Watercolor is very watery. So Kim says, I guess this is one project where it'll be okay to stick your paintbrush in your drink. Yes. Yes. In fact, I, I almost got a little confused with what I was just reaching for my glass earlier. Um, Bar uh, Barbara said, will they be happy little trees? At this point, they're going to be very fuzzy, little bleary. It's going to be like wine trees. What it'll be like thinking? trees in the distance. Yeah, that's what they're going to be. Atmospheric trees. That's that's what I was hoping for, but now like the way the watery stuff is, like I can feel it on the paper, mm -hmm. and the paper like it's so wet, the paper is buckling. Even this is heavy duty watercolor paper. Um, um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting, but you know, we'll see. I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Well, because and then Nancy said, um, "No worries." I think no worries. You were I worries, but I think no worries, John. I'm buying yours. And then Steve wrote, "Quick, Jackie, go grab the blow dryer." <laughs> yeah, yes. we have a you know no, we have a heat gun, although it's really loud. It's loud, yeah. No, man, th this is the the conditions we're we're under. I really need another glass of wine. That's the problem. <laughs> we're painting with wine. You know what we need? Well, this More is weird wine. wine. It's all concentrated. Well, if you want to go grab yourself a glass of wine, I mean, this uh, there's a little bit left in this crazy bottle. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to do little fish. Okay. Oh, mercy. Man, I... Uh, hmm. What kind of medium? So, so you're using medium. I feel like I should get an advantage. I should get a little something. You do. The, the two little eyeballs in your, in your sockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I'm going to... I'm going to... Now, um, what do you what what do you want as a as a um? I I need something because it, it's just it's just not dry. That's the problem I'm running into. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Me 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 too. Okay, I'm gonna try to let that dry. Um, gosh, this is. Okay, I got this with the medium. The only the only problem is that when I mix it with the medium, um. It makes it where I can feel the paint a little bit or the wine a little bit, but it also is probably diluting it. So it's not as, is, um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't think and, and Chew gum at the same yeah, time. gosh, I, I was, cause I'm, I'm really trying. It's Thank such you. a faint line. It's really, really hard for me to, to feel it. Well, and I'm trying to add these like darker dots and it's just getting super messy. But yeah, okay, okay. Here so, we are. So, so I'm trying to do a face. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's not so stressed out over there. <laughs> He's so stressed. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna do a little scuba die. Scuba guy. Here we go. All right. 
Okay, I'm at least getting the basic lines down for this weird face. So where where would the ear go? Where do you put your ears? So in my in my brain, I have, believe it or not, what I, what I what I what I want to do. <clears throat> you know what I think would help if we concentrated this wine down so much that it was really almost thick. You know. Well. That video that I watched, she, she did say something like, oh, it's sticky. And I was like, hmm, uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, this, this it's definitely, it's not, it's not sticky. Wait, here it is. Well, that's okay. Eh, what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, gosh. So, how's it going over there with you? Um, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it, it's 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 really because we don't have time to let it dry. That's kind of the issue I'm running into. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm trying to do a face because I wanted to do like a cool. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this. This is my scuba guy. Oh gosh! For everybody out there. It's, oh, you got a scuba guy? I got a little scuba guy. Nice. Um, I mean, it, cool. it looks good in the studio. <laughs> I'm just going to say. It looks good in the studio. Well, that sounds good. I mean. It just needs to dry so I can do another coat so it really pops. You see my face? Oh, that looks good. Man. Does it? <laughs> it feels like. It's hmm. Okay, the parameters though. What were they? Best use of materials and composition. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Kim said, "Nice scuba guy." Ooh. I I'm gonna consider that a vote. That's a vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too quick there, lady. All right, I'm gonna do one more scuba guy. Maybe that'll get me more votes. I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to paint some trees here in a minute. Um, yeah, this is, this is so hard guys. This is, this is, this is fun. This is kind of cool. Whenever we go camping, I always try to bring um, an art material that, that, that I never use because it's just, it's just different. You know, it's just, um, Oh, now we got, uh, sorry. I'm giving her a beard cause I have, I have wine on my fingers. Um, <laughs> You know, the, it's just new and it's different. It's fun. It's just kind of fun to explore and try and try new things. And um, you know, because honestly, I don't think I'm going to be an amazing wine painter, but I'm okay with that. And I don't <laughs> mind getting on the internet and looking, you know, getting on here and look at looking. You know, we're all just hanging out and having fun. I don't mind looking silly, but um, but I think though this is actually really beneficial. Like it's really helpful because just getting around and playing a little bit. Not making it so serious. Um, it's, I don't know what I'm doing with her hair. And I'm going crazy with her hair. <laughs> you know, this is just practice for when you paint and speak on stage. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, um, Nancy says, "Oh, John Scuba Dive is pulling. Oh, jo oh, John Scuba Dive is pulling ahead." Uh, yeah. Barbara said, "I like that scuba guy." And then Russell said, "Y'all are both doing so good. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Aww. Russell. Support. Love it." And Kim said, nice scuba guy. All okay. right. I was drawing a try. girl, but I think it's starting to look more like a guy. So I'm drawing a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I was going to do some crazy stuff with the hair and make it really cool. But that's not coming to fruition. <laughs> not going to happen. All right. This is my other <laughs> scuba guy. His hand kind of bled into the rest of the scene. This is my other scuba guy. So ideally, it's supposed to be like an underwater scene, and there's supposed to be like fish going all the way all around here. But it's so wet that it's just blending in. That's my my difficulty right now. So I think I should get the pass. <laughs> uh, Russell said, "John, I showed your here's Johnny painting off to my horror community, and people loved it." Oh, nice man! Thank you. thank you. It was a fun one to work on. I was supposed to be uh, when I was working on that painting. I was commissioned to paint um, some cute puppies. Yeah. And that came out instead. But I did the commission right after. It was just like, I don't know. I had to get that out of my system. So, I don't know. So, I'm painting evergreen trees. 
Well, Crystal has joined us and says, you had me at, you can drink wine through the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's, that's, that's my brilliant. life story. <laughs> that's brilliant. Man, the, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to vote for yours. That whole idea of the scuba diver sounds pretty cool, man. Well, tomorrow is ocean day, whatever that means. And I'm out of wine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to like, go to the dark side and drink this oak leaf. You know, I think it's only fitting that that we taste what we're painting. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink the concentrated stuff. Oh, gosh. That's gross. You should put a little on your finger and just a, right. a, little, a little dab will do it. Gosh. Okay, so. Oh, man, no. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, it's like. That's like bitter vine vinegar. It's, it's, it's different. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, so um. Uh, uh, my mom said doing good, Jackie, but uh, she can't see yours. Man, yours looks really good. She can't see mine. Yeah, I think your hands just. Oh, sorry, out. sorry, guys. I'm. He's he, he can't chew gum and talk at the same time. Yeah. Um. um... <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> uh, Steve said I once experimented with making my own dyes for yarn from plant materials. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. <coughs> I remember Man. when one time we did go camping, and I was like we let's make paint materials from the earth and that that was ridiculous that was ridiculous <laughs> and it was some very slight slightly colored thing i mean it was just like what it was it was pointless yeah it was ridiculous uh barbara says oh my gosh don't do it oh i already did it <laughs> don't do it i'm not gonna do it. it i'm not gonna do it okay kim says uh this makes me think of flavored wallpaper on willy wonka oh Ooh, yeah there we go you okay. get a bunch of wob wobbly kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna taste this wine. Oh, oh, you haven't tried it yet? No, I'm, 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 I'm hesitant. Uh, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that if you start to mix wines, I get a headache the next day. But, even if it's like a cab, and it's like another cab. If it's a cheap cab. Oh. I mean, if it's just like you're you're drinking your regular stuff, and then you go to like something ridiculous. I feel like I'm going to something ridiculous. <laughs> Well, whenever whenever you were shopping for the paint wine, um, you were looking for something that wasn't too. Yeah. <clears throat> it's okay. It's a little. It's you know what? It, it has a, a higher sugar taste, and uh, it doesn't have any ice. So right there, it's a bit weird. I went I went through a phase where, um, this this was a lot of fun. But I I, I would take like a different era, like a genre, like the kind of like the um the twenties and the thirties and stuff like that. And, and I would, I would try to eat some food from then and, and drinks and stuff, or if there was an artist or somebody, you know, that, that ate a certain thing or drank, I would, I would, I would, I would try that. Yeah. And so I really got into Hemingway and Fitzgerald and, and, and the table wines and stuff like over in France and Spain and stuff where they would go, they would have, um, you wouldn't just like, you wouldn't have expensive wine, no, nobody had the money in those groups and stuff. So you you would have a have a, have a table wine, and, and sometimes you'd even mix it with water and stuff. So I was just trying the, these different things, and that, that that was a lot of fun. And then um, so I did that for 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 almost every every de decade really. And then I got like to Janis Joplin's time, and she was a big proponent of Southern comfort. Ew. Yeah, I am. Um, so I drank that for a little while and. I haven't drank any since. Oh. I, 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 that was that was enough. I think Southern Comfort is one of those drinks that you got a hold of when you were underage and you had too much fun with, and then you're like, I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> oh, but yeah. it was really nice though, because like it, would, it was interesting to to read a book or or to listen to like the music from an artist, and then and then try to 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 recreate like the music that they listened to. And the lit they used to, so like it's like to have the whole like like the decade. So, you know, to read stories that they, they, they came from that that era, yeah, and stuff. You know, and just try to try you know to immerse yourself a little bit. I mean, even with that, you're not really immersing that much. But it was just it was interesting. It was that's cool. It made it you know it was easier to remember stuff. 
Well, my mom has offered a ride to the ER if the wine has uh, affected me in a terrible, terrible way. Oh, that's sweet. And Randy's a fan of Southern Comfort. <clears throat> he said, I stayed drunk on Southern Comfort for an entire week-long trip to Omaha, Nebraska once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, well, I don't know. Cornfields might require Nebraska, some drinking. Yeah. Okay, this is like a close-up of my... I'm slowly making it darker. This is the deal. Is It's like super hard to work when it's wet on wet so that's what it looks like as it's slowly i'm adding more layers but the idea is that it's supposed to have more um like fish going around or just a suggestion of fish um so there you have it <laughs> yeah this is so hard guys this is so hard <laughs> barbara said that's the only way i would see omaha yes <laughs> uh, um, I, I like nebraska i've done i've done talks there but um it is a whole lot of like the the landscape and all is really you know it's, it's a lot of farmland a lot of you know yeah a lot of a lot of co country but the folks were really really nice too so i mean it wasn't you know it was a little different and oh, yeah, you know, it's yeah. a lot of traveling where the you know where they're you know where you're going through the, the the countryside yeah i'm sure it's like a you know i mean it's just a a way of life you know what you're into if you're in if you're a city person <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah i want to say it was like either there or in ohio or ohio one of the times where i was going to give a talk and and stuff and they were like oh it's not that far it's just like a three-hour drive but you know what? i was doing a thing in in, in nebraska where people were driving like eight or ten hours to, to for the talk and Dude, i'm uncomfortable with driving more than 10 minutes to a walmart i don't and, i can't and i was like oh my goodness why are people driving so far they're like eh. <laughs> like what else are you gonna do? <laughs> you know, like if you—that's crazy. You know, if you live, you know, but some people are coming from other states, I guess, to, too. But to hear the talk, or but which is really cool. But I felt really. Um, I don't. I don't usually get too uptight before I talk, but when you know that there's a bunch of people that have been driving eight or ten hours to be there. You're like, man, this had better be good. <laughs> yeah. I better be in my game. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> Russell said, I just can't with that. And then um, Randy said, I found a shuffleboard bar there and a karaoke bar. Oh. And Russell said, so much damn corn. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and a and, and Russell, uh, Randy said, and a club with um, dancing girls. I And Russell said, I have family there. Okay. Man, I need to travel with you guys. Guess I mean, they, they know never, the, the hot traveled. spots in Omaha. Yeah, I've, I've never traveled <laughs> anywhere and, and, and ended up somewhere where there was Dan dancing girls. Gah. I travel um, wrong, leave apparently. It to Randy. All right. So, maybe, so th maybe this is my because, swarming maybe, fish. Maybe it's because you, whenever I travel, you're you're the one that books the trips. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to like book you next to. I'm not going <laughs> to eat both of us next to like dancing girls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if anything, I'm booking us both next to an Irish pub. I think. Maybe. Oh, there we go. That's not too well. Good. That's why we All work right. so well together. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's one thing. Whenever we travel, we inevitably find ourselves at an Irish pub. Even on the cruise, we went with my brother and sister-in-law. We, The first bar we had a drink at was an Irish pub on the cruise ship. It's ridiculous. It's a thing. Irish pub at Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. I mean, Irish pub at Galveston. <laughs> oh, in Holland. In, um, I mean, it's crazy. Everywhere, yeah. Well, yeah. There's actually a, our song about there being an Irish pub everywhere. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. That's I can't funny. I can't think who sings it, but but um yeah. I mean, it's true. Okay. <clears throat> I'm almost done. Um well it's not, you know, it's, this isn't a race here, so you know. Let's, let's uh, so Randy said me too. I was born there. Interesting. Oh born in, in Omaha? Interesting. Um uh Russell said that's right. We talked about that once again. They're talking to each other. Ken Wait, said got uh, a home field advantage then. Yeah. That's, a good place. that's right. That's why he knows where all the dancing girls are. Yeah. <laughs> Ken said, Southern Comfort um gives me hives for some reason. I break out itchy. Never um pursued why. I mean you don't want to keep drinking it if it's weird like that. Um, Russell says my family, it, um, my family in Lincoln. Randy said probably all the sugar can maybe. Mm. Um, and, and Randy said um, Southern comfort is a hell of a hangover. And I was born in Omaha and moved to Texas three days, three days later. <laughs> <They're> like <laughs> we're out. 
man, it's like me. But I was born in El, El Paso, and then, which is still te- te- Texas. But really quickly after that, um, my my whole family is from Dallas, and um, and that's and that's where like my mom went back to. Uh, so very little time in El Paso. Ugh, that wine is questionable. I mean, it's not even like close to. I hate to say this. It's not even close to like the box wine that I'll get in a pinch. Ah. Uh. Uh, oh, anyway. this is this is like, this is difficult. Are you guys. stressed? What time is it? I don't even know. It's eight fifty. We should wrap it up. Well, hold it. Well, <laughs> are you not done? Because that's unfortunate. We are done. <laughs> unfortunate. That sounds Your like time a... is up. <laughs> well, hold it. I, I want to tell everybody how to make an evergreen tree. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Do that because actually, well, I honey, my penny that... really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yours looks really good. Oh, you're sweet. Really, really good. I'm sure yours. I mean, I, don't I mean, have... mine's fantastic. I don't know. But yours looks mine. good. That's. I, I think. I think. I think that's a. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we started this whole thing like you're gonna go down, brother. You know, you're in my house. Actually, brother's not right. You're gonna go down, brother, of my child. In your mouth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't work. And then we're all like, oh, yours is probably better. Yours is well, better. you know, that's that's because oh. we're so sweet. Well, um, <clears throat> Gina says these are looking amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, I posted a couple of pics on your post announcing the battle. Sweet. Oh, I'm nice. eager to look at them. Uh, the portrait, I believe. Um, Russell said both paintings look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Thank you. But mine's more them. amazing, though. Right, Russell? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Russell? Right. Okay, that's mine. Um, the, the way... I think, you know what? Huh? You might win on use of material, and I win on composition. Oh. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I'm saying it. Well, that's cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, um, on mine. And Nancy, well, like for... Nancy love loves yours, but, you know, she's swayed because she lives in the mountains whatever and uh you know oh no you don't you don't you don't have to come up with reasons why you like mine nancy it's okay it's just you know know, i'm coming up with the reasons (laughs) um no okay a really quick way though to 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 make an evergreen tree where yeah um which is why i did it this way on this because you don't have to um you you can be you can be really free with it so with this, I, I know where I'm starting. I know when I'm starting and stopping. And then I just follow a pattern with it. So that's kind of helping me with this a little bit. Um, here, I'll, I'll try to make a really big one over here. But the way, way you do it, though, is like you, you have a line that's going up. So I'm, I'm going to do it off off the um, – because I can feel the edge here. I'm going I'm to do it going going off. So it's only going to be like a partial tree. Yeah. Um, and you start with with, with a zigzag motion. So, so I'm going to go off. But you're zigzagging. You're zigzagging, you're zigzagging, and and um and then and then whenever you get to the top, you zigzag in the in, in the opposite direction. Um, and it's it's going to be really hard to see with this with what what I'm doing, because it's wine. <laughs> <laughs> there so are no very, excuses. In yeah, well, art. well, no, I mean it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's hard it's hard to teach this technique because you um normally with the paint that I use it leaves very defined like bristly kind of little yeah, little things yeah. where, where it, is, it gives the illusion of, of, of lightness and, and, and darkness with it. With this, I'm not sure how much of that is actually coming through. Um, I'm trying to make up for it by doing multiple like passes with yeah, it the looks, wine so it'll darken it a little bit. Your your trees in the foreground are clearly in the foreground, so you're pulling it off. Oh, that's right. Well, thank you. I, that's, that's good to hear. And I'm sure I got sprinkles everywhere because I'm um, so I'm gonna call that done for this. Ooh, okay. Well, let let me let me go to the the message board. Um, Nancy Ooh. said, "Sorry, Jax, she has no remorse for picking you over me." Oh, um, nice. <clears throat> Fred said, "It will be interesting to see how they dry." Russell says, "Jackie's is really hypnotic." Thank you, thank you, oh. thank you. Um, Steve says, "I have to go with Jackie's." Russell says, L- "Looks hypnotic." Um, yeah. So, okay, this is how we're gonna do this. Right now, I'm going to declare myself the winner. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, so what we're going to do tomorrow, I'm going to post on the Facebooks and everywhere. Both of our paintings right next to each other with like a like or a heart symbol or whatever. And um, and I'm not going to say, because you guys are awesome. You tune in and it's a blast. Appreciate it. But I'm not going to say who's who 
on the post. So the masses out there that didn't get to tune in, they don't know who did what, and then they're going to, they, they vote like who's the better painting. Um, and then next Tuesday, if you tune in, you will probably get to watch hilarity ensue when um, John's in full costume. <laughs> and uh, we're doing some wacky art in a, in somebody's garage. We already have plans. It's crazy. So um, yeah, that, that will be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so my mom, who you know, she's not partial at all. Actually, you're the favorite. Said uh, Jax has got got it this time. <laughs> oh man! So much for being the married and favorite. Oh, harsh, harsh, harsh. But you know, um, yeah, I, I think I think the fact that you decided to try to do a figure. Well, I is, I I did some research. Like I, I I looked at like ocean things that are monochromatic that were, were doable. So I will say that I I I was the one doing preparing for this challenge. So I did the I did research. Well, I would I would you know I, I was trying to think of techniques that I would be able to adapt to to a new medium you know, in minutes, <laughs> you know, where, where you, well, be good, able see, to, you should get points for that. Well, I, 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 you know, it's all about what, what comes out at the end. And, um, you know, and the reason that art is so brilliant, the reason it's so much fun is not is that it, it makes you feel good doing it. And I, I've had a blast doing this. This has been a lot of fun. So, and well, I mean, it's really cool. And, you know, it's helped me work on my watercolor technique a little bit. I, I know. Right. Like I haven't done watercolor in, it's so weird. It's like it's like it's like painting blindfolded almost because yeah. I can't feel the stuff that I normally feel when I paint. So it's just like putting up an idea of like, well, I'm going to start here and I'm in there, and then yeah. for everything, like, okay, now, okay, I'm now I'm going to go from here to there, and then I'm going to go from here to there. Yeah. But but knowing that, well, I'm going to do a light wash and I'm going to do a thicker wash. I mean, a darker, slightly darker wash, and then I'm not going to worry about any detail until we get to the train. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a good mental exercise. Yeah. yeah the last time yeah. I did watercolor was actually right when we, we were on the cruise and when we got back. Because when we were on the cruise, my absolute favorite vision, like seeing everything, regardless of like the ports we went in or anything, was on the back of the ship when we'd go walk Eagle for her, you know, bathroom breaks. And it was right, you know, to the back of the ship. So all like it was turning the water and it's white and blue and all this stuff. And it was like crazy color of blue. And so I took m multiple pictures of that. And so when we got home, I painted that in watercolor. I'm not, a, I'm not good at it. So I just do it while we're watching TV. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it was, you know, that's, that's fun. That's nice. It's yeah. crazy. Well, but, um, I'll just say that a vote for me is a vote for all that's right and good in the world. And, you know, <laughs> you. And, uh, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Well, Claire, Claire says, I like the creativity of Jackie's also because I'm a scuba, I'm scuba certified. Ooh, awesome. Really? That's cool. Uh, and the technique of shadowing of yours is really awesome. So, oh, well, thank uh, you very much. And Nancy says, so awesome. Love both. I guess she'll vote afterwards. But um, yes, so I'm going to post tomorrow. If you guys are on the, the Facebooks or wherever, um, like, heart, whatever, according to whose art it is. And Whoever loses will have to uh, be Bob Ross next yeah, week. Yeah, I, I have a pretty good feeling. I'm going to be wearing a big bushy I don't know. Afro I don't... beard, which is you know just cool. This this has been a lot of fun, and I really like getting pushed out of out of out of out of the the, the comfort zone because all day I was painting uh, on on a taxi in New York, and now I'm in the mountains and That's trying true. something I never really tried before. That's, That's pretty true. cool. Nice. Thank you, sweetheart. That's oh, fantastic. thank you. Thanks. This is going to be a fun month. I'm excited about these art challenges. Next week, not only will we show you what we did challenge-wise, because we're going to pre-film it, but we will also do an art giveaway. So tune in, do some trivia with us. We will do our same old um, fun art giveaway. Like, subscribe, share us with your friends, all that fun stuff. And um, share your art with us. We'd love to see it, especially yeah. if you try to wine paint. Yeah, and thanks to, to the patrons, guys. You guys are so nice. That's yes. so brilliant. In fact, um, I'll end it here, but I'll see you in 15 seconds. But here's all the people that are patrons. <laughs> see you in 15 seconds because we still don't know how to end the show. <laughs>
taxi um, campaigning and yep. stuff when I get it done and all that fun stuff. See you next Tuesday. Thanks so much for hanging out.